My name is Nancy Nackley, and I'm currently the president of the Pearl Buck Volunteer Association. I consider myself fortunate to be a volunteer with an organization that promotes Pearl Buck's legacy and continues her work today. Often when I give a tour, I'm asked, what is your favorite book? My answer is always My Several World, which is a memoir that was published in 1953. On the very first page of the book, Pearl Buck describes the scene that you're looking at in the picture. It, these are her words. This morning I rose early, as is my habit, and as usual I went to the open window and looked out over the land that is to me the fairest I know. I see these hills and fields at dawn and dark, in sunshine and in moonlight, in summer green and winter snow, and yet there is always a new view before my eyes. Today, by the happy coincidence which seems the law of life, I looked at sunrise upon a scene so Chinese that did I not know I live on the other side of the globe, I might have believed it was from my childhood. A mist lay over the big pond under the weeping willows, a frail cloud through which the water shone a silvered gray, and against this background stood a great white heron profiled upon one stalk of leg. Centuries of Chinese artists have painted that scene, and here it was before my eyes, upon my land, as American a piece of earth as can be imagined, being now mine, but owned by generations of Americans, and first of all by Richard Penn, the brother of William Penn, who founded our state of Pennsylvania. Had I prayed heaven, I could not have asked for a picture more suited to the mood for this day's work, which is to begin my book. That's just some of the words written by Pearl Buck. We hope that after we reopen, you come and visit us to hear her words, hear her story, and see the beautiful scenes that are here at Pearl S. Buck International. Thank you.